Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe the structure of graphene and of fullerenes. You should then be able to describe the properties of graphene and fullerenes and then link these to their structures. In the last video we looked at graphite. Graphites form from layers of carbon atoms in hexagonal rings. We saw that each carbon atom has an unbonded electron and these electrons are delocalized which means they can move. Because of this, graphite is a good conductor of thermal energy and electricity. In this video we're looking at graphene and at fullerenes. These are all based on carbon atoms, so let's start by looking at graphene. Graphene is a single layer of graphite. This means that graphene is only one atom thick. Graphene was only isolated in 2004. Let's look at the properties of graphene. Graphene is an excellent conductor of electricity. And that's because graphene has delocalized electrons just like graphite. In the future, graphene will be useful in electronics. Secondly, graphene is extremely strong, and that will make it useful for new materials. Okay, let's look now at fullerenes. Fullerenes are molecules of carbon atoms with hollow shapes. Usually, fullerenes have hexagonal rings of carbon atoms, but they can also have rings with five or seven carbon atoms. The first fullerene molecule to be discovered is called Buckminster fullerene, and I'm showing you a picture of this molecule here. Buckminster fullerene contains 60 carbon atoms arranged in a hollow sphere. The carbon atoms form rings with either 6 carbon atoms like this one, or with 5 carbon atoms like this one. Fullerenes such as this have a number of uses. They can be used to deliver pharmaceuticals into the body. They can be used as lubricants, for example in machines, to stop moving parts from grinding together. And finally, they can be used as catalysts to speed up chemical reactions. Now one really interesting group of fullerenes are called carbon nanotubes. These are fullerenes shaped into long cylinders, and I'm showing you that here. Again, you can see that we've got rings formed from six carbon atoms. Carbon nanotubes have got several very useful properties. Firstly, they've got very high tensile strength. This means they can be stretched without breaking. Carbon nanotubes are also excellent conductors of both heat and electricity. Carbon nanotubes are going to have lots of uses in the future, but at the moment research is still in the early stages. However, one use of carbon nanotubes is to reinforce materials, for example in high-end tennis rackets. You'll find plenty of questions on graphene and fullerenes in my revision workbook, which you can get by clicking on the link above. Okay, so hopefully now you should be able to describe the structure of graphene and of fullerenes. You should then be able to describe the properties of graphene and fullerenes and then link these to their structures.